All right, here's one thing I've wanted, always wanted to tell people. Oh, this is Scott with Seconds No One Canine Life Coaching. Got Princess over here. She's a new dog to us. She's already attached to people. I think her last family was a little chaotic, so it wasn't the best fit. It's not something she needed. Zeus has his little issues, of course. But what I wanted to show was that when dogs can watch things going on, they watch how you interact in your household instead of just throwing them in the mix, they'll become less protective and they'll become more understanding of how your life goes on. Then they'll trust when they can come in and what they should react to. Hi, Zeus. Good. Thank you, Zeus. Not rewarding for anything but his name. Thank you, princess. When your dog comes to me, wherever it's at, that's the first thing I'm going to teach your dog, is their name. Zeus knows I'm going to play with other dogs. Princess is going to understand that too. Whether I'll get these guys out to play, I don't know. I got a temperament test princess first. She can get along with dogs. She is interested in dogs. Do you miss me? Or do you want Zeus? Who doesn't want Zeus? Thank you, Zeus. Eye contact. Reward. Princess. Eye contact. Reward. So basically, when you're coming, get a new dog. Crate train them. Teach them it's okay to watch from a distance and how your family interacts. Because you can love the crap out of a dog and then come home and fight with your spouse or your significant other. Your dog's going to pick up on that and go, Oh, I should protect my loved one from that person. You get irritated with your kids and they come home. You just got to spend all this loving time on the couch and the house gets chaotic. Your dog's going to be afraid of kids. If you're a chaotic person, your dog can be chaotic, but your dog will adjust. Dogs adjust. That is one thing I want to tell you guys. Dogs adjust. Dogs are adaptable. They figure things out. Thank you, princess. Giving her a treat. He's mad at me. Who knows? He's bored. It's past his bedtime. It's 10 o'clock at night. Rough day at work, though. But he's still off leash. Whiny princess over there. She's up for adoption. So is Zeus. Soon. Zeus. Come. Good. Come, Zeus. Just because he is reactive towards other dogs, we think, he's trusting us to walk away from other stuff. You get a reactive dog when they can walk with you and ignore other stuff. That's what you want. Still no leash. Thank you, Zeus. <gasps> Did you refuse? Thank you, Zeus. Simple, easy stuff. Doesn't have to be all exciting and all the other stuff. Pay attention to you. Have fun. I don't need Zeus to stress out in this situation. Oh, that butt. We can still have fun. We can still have fun. Ready? Let's go. Zeus! Let's go. All right. Let's go. Oh, I tricked you. I know. The leash is annoying. Thank you, Zeus. Bruh. You're so lazy. I don't want to do anything without cookies. Thank you. Thank you, Zeus. 
See the distance I can reward? And he still wants to come over. I love it. Scott with Seconds No One Canine Life Coaching. www.k letter 9 lifecoach.com www.k9lifecoach.com Thank you, Zeus. Thank you, princess.